This tutorial is an excerpt from our new Herrick Families course for Revit, which includes hundreds of tips to develop strong, powerful families your teammates will love using. Enroll in the course at bimpure.com. In this video, you will learn how to create a void inside of certain specific families that don't work with regular voids, such as families containing multiple arrayed element. You can see, for example, this is a family with an array, but we've managed to create a hole that cuts multiple elements that are part of the array. So in a regular Revit family, is creating a void inside of the shape of the geometry is extremely straightforward. You can select the void extrusion tool and draft it. Let's place it right here. If I go to 3D view, you can see that this extrusion is automatically cut. It is a very straightforward process. However, when it comes to a family that contains arrayed elements such as this one, let's open the family. So these are nested families of a single element. Uh, let's change the number of elements. And if I go to the floor plan view and I try to create a void extrusion, let's place it exactly in the center, in the middle right here. Let's go to a 3D view. I can see my void extrusion right here. So even if I modify the shape, it doesn't cut the elements. And even if I select the cut tool, select this, I cannot uh, select the arrayed elements themselves. But there is a workaround to make this work. The first thing you'll need to do is create a new family where this one, this current family is going to be placed as a nested family. So let's create a new generic model family. And let's place this family into the new one we've just created. So this is family number 11. All right, I place an instance right here. You can uh, assign and associate all the parameters if you want to control all the dimensions properly. For now, we don't need to do it right away. And same thing, even with this, if you try to create a void extrusion, let's say that I select the void extrusion tool and I create one right here. Same thing, even though we've created this nested level and I try to cut this element, it doesn't work. So that's where it becomes interesting. We're going to create a new phase-based generic model family. So I select this family template, generic model phase-based. So let me create a few more reference plane like this so I can easily control the shape of this void extrusion. I will add a few dimensions to ensure that the center reference plane is always at the center. I will add a new dimension here, another one right here. I will add a new label. This one is going to be called D for depth. This one is going to be called L for length. I'm going to go to the left side elevation and create a new reference plane right here and add a new label. This one is going to be the thickness of the void, so calling it T. Going back uh, over here, selecting the void extrusion, selecting the rectangle, and placing it just like this, clicking on the lock icon. And let's go to the left side elevation, and I can drag the arrows to bring the end of this void extrusion right here and click on the lock icon. And finally, in the 3D view, I can go to the modify tab, select cut, select this geometry, and select uh, the void. So this is a nested void that I will be able to use with any family. I will save this and call this a phase face void. I already have one. Let's create a new version of it. And I can load this into the other family that I have created. And this is a phase based family. Make sure that you select place on face. And now I can click on, you can see you can individually select all of the elements. But what happens is the moment I click here, um, you can see it affects all the elements in the array, not a single one, and I can play with the dimensions. I can even align and lock to reference planes if I want. Let's say that I change the length to five feet. You can see that uh, this void is going to cut all the elements in the array. Something very important to know, this only works, uh, that means cutting every element in the array, if these are not shared families. So if you're using shared families for the arrayed element, it will not work like this. 
You might be wondering in what cases you're actually going to use this trick. Well, I wanted to show you this is a parametric moon gate family made with a circular brick array. And for this to work, we had to create a void that cuts the bottom of the bricks. This is one of the nested family inside of the moon gate uh, door family. And the way this was made is by creating a single brick as a nested family and creating a circular array. Then we nested this entire circular array into another family. And this is where we've placed this face base void extrusion family. For example, I could create another one and place it on one of the face and you can see that the brick shape, all of the bricks are cut by this. And this is how we've managed to create this Moongate family. If you have enjoyed this video, you will love our new Herrick Families course for Revit. It includes intermediate to advanced strategies to create powerful families. All lessons are available in both video and ebook PDF format. In addition, you get access to our Revit Mega Simple file and to challenges to test what you've learned. Enroll now at bimpure.com.